Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Renz, your host of the Raiders Report, and coming up here on today's show, Devontae Adams' actions and Antonio Pierce's words over the last 24 hours indicate to me that they want Jaden Daniels. And it's not a secret to anybody out there that watches the show that AP has been on the hype train, that I have been on this hype train, that they want to have the Heisman Trophy winner in silver and black. But I am a believer that I believe in what Antonio Pierce says. I also am a believer in and. A guy like Devontae Adams, when he does something, you should listen. Neither of those two dudes are the type of people that don't back up what they're trying to say. And I'm sorry, but like seeing something like this with Devontae posting a picture of Jaden Daniels holding up the Heisman Trophy on his Instagram story, and it simply just says, my resume speaks for itself. It is clear to me that the Raiders have a plan A at the quarterback position, and I don't care what anybody says out there, his name is Jaden Daniels. So if you want the Raiders to be able to go out there and find their franchise quarterback, I love Gardner Minshew. I think he's going to be an awesome teammate this season. I love the competitive nature that Aiden O'Connell brings to the table, but the difference between Aiden and Gardner Minshew is potentially a playoff caliber team to a Super Bowl caliber team. You can't be a football team that says just win, baby. Commitment to excellence if you don't back it up. So let's back it up here and let's go get Jaden Daniels. If you're on board with that, hit that subscribe button. So the reason why that I'm talking about this bright and early this morning is because Devontae posted on his Instagram story the same day as Jaden Daniels' pro day. On top of that, Antonio Pierce Raiders offensive coordinator Luke Getze and Raiders quarterback coach Rich Gangarillo met with him yesterday privately. And based on everything that I've seen, based on everything that I've heard, Jaden Daniels was very impressive on the field. But on top of that, one of the things that the Raiders, a lot of NFL teams look for is that guy, your quarterback, the guy that's going to wear a C on his chest, can be a leader of men. You got to salute Jaden for going out there, rocking his teammates' jersey, somebody who's dealing with brain cancer. I mean, it just think goes to show that, yeah, all the lights were on Jaden, but in a moment that's probably the biggest moment of his entire life, he took a second to think, you know what, how can I shed light on one of my best friends? That's the type of leadership, and qual leadership qualities that you look for in a franchise quarterback. Yeah, he's an athletic freak. Yeah, he's a hell of a quarterback. But do you have that leadership ability? That gives me even more confidence to give up three first-round picks. And Tay has already said this offseason that he likes Jaden Daniels. He was on a podcast, I'm going to say somewhere around January or February. He was very open. It was like, yeah, Jaden Daniels is nice. And it's the fact that it's the second time that the Raiders... And it's the second time that he has done something like this. Tay doesn't give me the type of, he doesn't make me feel like that he's the type of dude, that he's the type of player, that if he says something, he doesn't truly believe it. And I think the other part here that if you're Antonio Pierce, if you're Tom Telesco, Devontae was a big reason why if AP got hired. I mean, let's, let's keep it a buck here, right? If Max Crosby was a big reason, Devontae Adams was also a big reason in making sure that Antonio Pierce ended up getting hired. And if you're AP, the one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to piss off your star wide receiver. And I'm not saying that you have to just because Devontae did that, that you have to go out and make sure you get him. But we also have to not forget that Devontae last offseason and when the Raiders traded for him, one of the things that he asked for was, can I at least have some say in what quarterback I'm going to be playing with on the back half of my season? They tried to roll with Derek Carr. Didn't quite work. Jimmy Garoppolo ended up coming in despite Devontae even last offseason saying like, I don't really like where our offense is at. Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler ignored Devontae Adams. It's time for Antonio Pierce and Tom Telesco to listen up. So what do you guys think here? If Devontae were to just verbally come out and say, I want Jaden Daniels. Should the Raiders do everything in their power to get him? Give me a yes. Give me a no. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. Scroll on down. You're about to get hit with the YouTube ad break and give me your opinion. I'll definitely say this. It could be the cherry on top because at the end of the day, if Antonio Pierce is going to say that it's going to be up to Tom Telesco, AP, if it was up to him, I believe he would put all those chips in the center of that table and he would go get himself a franchise quarterback. And if you're Telesco, you're sitting back here a little bit and you said that you want to be able to do right by your guys. Sure, he meant that by re-signing players, 
but it can also mean by doing right by your star wide receiver coming off a year that, let's face it, he probably wasn't all that happy about. So you can go out and get a franchise quarterback like Jaden Daniels that won the Heisman Trophy last season, that Antonio Pierce has known since he's 13, and somebody that has worked with him. I mean, when you think about the fact that AP literally said in the last 24 hours that he thought he was going to be a Heisman Trophy winner and thought that this was going to be a kid and one of the reasons why they ended up recruiting him to Arizona State, there is just more and more smoke around this entire situation. And coming up here next on the show, I'm going to continue to take a dive into my Jaden Daniels to Las Vegas timeline. If you've been watching this show all the way back to basically the Heisman Trophy speech, we're going to go up and I'm going to show you all these things that are leading me to believe that the Raiders are going to be the team that makes a move and goes up and selects Jaden Daniels. And I know there's going to be some people out there that go, Mitch, well, what if they can't get him? Hey, where there's smoke, there's fire. And there's a lot of smoke right now that Jaden's going to fall a little bit here in this draft. Now, if you don't already know, I got to give a major shout out to today's sponsor, Game Time. And who likes to sweat about going to events? I know I can't stand it. And at, at the end of the day, I want stress-free life. And when I'm going to an event, I want to be able to look forward to it. I don't have to worry about all the hassle. And buying tickets to your favorite events, let's face it, it shouldn't be stressful. I want you to be able to snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater and events near you. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their best price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Now, I have been able to go to a few events this year. I know Chugs has been a little bit more luckier than me finding better deals. Like I know he's gone to Adele. We went to Drake together. I've been to a few basketball games this year. And what do I do? I go through the Game Time app. And the reason why I like it, probably my favorite feature on it is don't get me wrong, I'm a visual person, I'm a visual learner, and I like to be able to see like where I'm going to sit and kind of how it looks. I also use the Game Time app to buy my fiance's dad his birthday presents when the Raiders and Cowboys played earlier this offseason. If anybody's got a father-in-law out there, you know how confident you got to be in something if that's going to be the gift you give them for their birthday, right? Especially an old-school military guy. But on top of that, I also love it because of the all-in prices. I don't like to be tricked. I, there's at times when I go to buy tickets on a site and you go to the checkout line and you're like, all right, this is what I think I'm going to pay. And somehow after taxes, fees, and all these other hidden things thrown in there, you're like, now it's double the price. With game time, it's not like that. I don't feel like I'm getting ripped off. I always love when Chug says, like, imagine you go to the grocery store, you go to buy a gallon of milk, it's $3, and then you go to check out, and all of a sudden, six bucks. Guess what I'm doing? I'm walking that milk all the way back to aisle, whatever the hell, and I'm dropping it off. I love game time. I think you guys will, too. Last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Download it today. That link's going to be available to you all down in the comments, down in the description. Just make sure that you use promo code CHATSPORTS for your $20 off. All right, coming up here, let's get into our Jaden Daniels to Las Vegas timeline and some of you are going to see some things that I've already hit on so I'll try to keep it short here with some of that but also I want to be able to add into the equation of what's been happening in the NFL over the owner meetings and over just the past three or four days so the first with all this starts with Jaden Daniels hypes up Marvin Lewis Antonio Pierce both in his Heisman speech mm, Antonio Pierce head coach Marvin Lewis, assistant head coach. Interesting. He's in the Raiders' locker room after the Week 18 win over the Denver Broncos. Pretty interesting. Devontae Adams speaks very highly of Jaden on a podcast. Daniels, to two Raiders fans, said that he wants to be a Raider. It was posted on social media. AP goes ahead and he likes that photo. When the Raiders interviewed offensive coordinators, they did it with Jaden Daniels in mind. I don't know about y'all. That's kind of interesting to me. I think it's one of the reasons why, yeah, we know the details on Cliff Kingsbury, but usually when a deal falls through, there's a lot more to it. And if Cliff wanted Caleb and there's no shot of getting him, maybe he doesn't want a guy like Jaden. NFL media day chatter. When we were there for the Super Bowl, I couldn't tell you how much media day chatter there was. At the NFL Combine, tons and tons of chatter. Telesco was expected to be aggressive. One of the reasons why he was hired because of his plan at the quarterback. And there's been reports out there that the Raiders have been interested in the number one pick, that the Raiders have been interested in potentially trading up. But what really the reason why I am making this video now is because of what Devontae Adams did, 
Then you look at the reports of apparently J.J. McCarthy could go number two overall. Apparently he could go number three overall. And if that ends up happening, Jaden's going to slide down the board here a little bit. But then the other reason why I'm making it is because I believe in what Antonio Pierce says. Does anybody who's watching this show right now believe in AP? When he stands up there at the podium, he looks at all y'all in the eyes and what he says, you listen, right? If you're like that, I'm like that, click that like button because look at what Antonio Pierce has said over the past two weeks, and then I'm going to show you what he said yesterday. I don't know how it's going to play out, but Telesco better start working his magic. I told him, it's your turn now. All eyes are on you. I'm going to go undefeated for six more months. I am sure that's something that Telesco has already spoken about, but that's my personality. As you guys saw and witnessed, I'm a go-getter. But obviously, that has to be a collective agreement. I want a guy who will... When the game is on the line, he wants the ball. Making the throws or doing it with his legs or putting us in the right call. You don't want to put a Band-Aid on that position. That's old, man. I think the Raiders, we've seen that enough in this organization. You want the face of your franchise to be the quarterback, to be that guy you can count on for the next 10 years. Now, some of those quotes, that's from Antonio Pierce at the NFL Combine. But, like, let's look at what AP said literally yesterday, okay? During Jaden Daniels' pro day, the same day Devontae Adams that night goes home and posts on his Instagram story. If you don't think Antonio Pierce, Luke Getze, and Rich Scangarillo, after they met with Jaden Daniels privately, picked up the phone and called Devontae Adams and told him about it, I think you're foolish. And according to Vincent Bonsignor yesterday, AP shed some light on what he's looking for in his next quarterback. And Antonio Pierce said, a damn runner. Then, Antonio Pierce had this to say about Jaden Daniels yesterday. One thing about him that I think separates him from the rest is his ability to run. He can run, run. He could run like that in the SEC and put up those kind of numbers. I think that translates very well. And he's not wrong. Jaden can absolutely run. He can use his legs. If there's one thing that I am worried about is I want him to maybe slide a little bit more, maybe run out of bounds. That 6'3", 210 pounds, that's a very thin frame, and I don't want him to end up getting hurt. But based on some of the moves that the Raiders have already done this season, I think they're really trying to bulk up that offensive line. I'm still hoping that they allocate a few more picks to that. But they're also really trying to build that defense. And there could be an area where you draft Jaden Daniels, you let him learn behind a Gardner Minshew or a Nathan O'Connell for a season, and then you give him the keys to that car in 2025. So my final thing that I'm going to say on this show is this. I believe in Devontae Adams. I believe in Antonio Pierce. I believe in those two men that when they talk, when they do things, they mean it because they're not the type of human beings in my book that would do things and say things that they don't mean. So it's no secret that Jaden Daniels, that this is the Raiders play and that this is the guy that they want. But if you believe that both of those guys, Devontae and Antonio Pierce, they want Jaden in silver and black, all I'm saying is there is definitely still a chance that it happens.